since the subject of congruity has come up as well as the subject of ecology, these are paired subjects. I think that you can't really talk about congruity in the absence of ecology and you can't really talk about, about ecology in the absence of congruity. They both fit together and they are definitionally somewhat different domains, yet they are very, um, very tightly linked definitional domains that we have to have a good grasp of and, and I think they do underlie a lot of what distinguishes successful or competent or unconsciously competent NLP, pra NLP practice or any other form of uh, interactive practice and development uh, must be very, very alert to find distinctions of congruity and incongruity. And perhaps you could say that uh, congruity and incongruity are issues sort of like a snapshot of the present where in the moment we can be aware of uh, simultaneous uh, congruity or incongruity as, where, as well as uh, congruity or incongruity over periods of time. As I mentioned with my um, personal experience with uh, Carmine Baffa, uh, there, there was a very, very deep immersion in the uh, the art of incongruity, if you want to call it an art, you know, you could really see it in action at, at multiple levels in multiple ways, both within uh, Carmine himself and the way that uh, the people who had chosen to be close to him were demonstrating all forms of a very rich display, a, a quite a menagerie of incongruities. And to my mind, these were direct precursors to significant issues of ecology and uh, non-ecology or um, dis-ecology. On the other hand, there was an uh, extremely competent and very compelling teacher of congruity who could both model it explicitly and also work with it unconsciously and implicitly, and that was Dave Dobson, but it was the Dave Dobson of 20 years ago out in Friday Harbor in Puget Sound off of Washington State. And we spent two weeks out there with um, Dobson having a, uh, a very rich experience in congruity, awareness, and being sensitized to what was congruent and incongruent. And if you will kindly ignore that alarm out there, that siren, we have them, it's New York City. Okay guys, when you're through. Um, so Dobson of say even the, the 1990s, I'm not sure exactly when it was that he ceased teaching and finally died, but the earlier Dobson was a, a very vigorous and intense, um, intense as an understatement. He, he was in many ways, I think, uh, more confident and more grounded and more capable of genuine educative intensities than anybody else I know currently alive um, teaching this work. Um, although he was not really formally part of the NLP world. Interesting point though, I was out there um, with Doug O'Brien, so Doug and I at the same time went, went through the identical process, so Doug may have his own <clears throat> perceptions of, of Dobson. And my understanding was that Tony Robbins was going to come and join us and be part of this um, class, this uh, thing that Dobson called his, his fun shops, and for some reason um, Tony Robbins became distracted and dropped out or wasn't available to come. So if I think though if, if Tony had come and he had been there for that two week period that we may have had a, a very, very different final presentation of where Tony Robbins is coming from. So that was kind of an opportunity missed. Intriguing though, the whole thing was quite intriguing. And it had all kinds of fascinating downstream effects on my life. Um, so for some reason, congruity and um, ecology have, have kind of either fallen out of favor or they've dropped out of the conversation or they're just not very completely or energetically addressed. They kind of get pushed off into the corner like some boxes that we'll open if we have time. But it seems that the um, trainer body, if you want to call them that, the, the people who are kind of responsible for the upkeep and the maintenance and the delivery and the, the framing and definition of NLP don't have the same uh, clarity and the same, um, the, the same um, 
kind of grasp or an, an, an intense, intense focus and concentration on congruity and on um, ecology, which is, a, I think, a, a, a lessening, a weakening of the, the sort of the whole of what NLP can or should be. Um, that's probably enough for now. I can go on at great length about this, and I probably will.